guarantee it's going to be some special kind. We got a few positions already taken care of because I'm bringing my luggage with me. And it's Louis. Okay. How often have we seen this clip since Deion Sanders arrived in Boulder? The Louis luggage Sanders refers to is better than anyone sitting in the meeting room at that time. If you watch the roster movement since his arrival, this is nuts, but it is needed. According to ON3, there are 32 transfers coming in and a whopping 55 players transferring out with more to come. It is predicted that up to 60 players may depart. In December, he told the players during a meeting, those of you we don't run off, we're going to try and make you quit. As of last week, only 12 of the 85 scholarship players from that woeful 1-11-2022 squad remained in the mix. No other school has had more than 30 players voluntarily or involuntarily move out. Ole Miss and Arizona State are second with 29 players that have transferred out. The Power 5 average is only 16 players. Colorado is practicing free agency on a grand scale unlike anything we've ever seen. Despite all the constant criticism, Sanders has a plan in motion and fans will undoubtedly want a winner and they will give him time. The turnaround may not happen too quickly as the Buffs were picked to finish last in the Pac-12 post spring. Lincoln Riley brought players to USC with him from Oklahoma and turned their program around immediately as they competed for the Pac-12 championship. However, this situation is more dire, but it can be done. The Colorado Buffaloes have struggled in recent years. Since 2006, there have been five head coaches who could not get the job done. Dan Hawkins, John Embry, Mike McIntyre, Mel Tucker, and Carl Durrell. During that time of those five head coaches, the Buffaloes have only had two winning seasons and have only been to three bowls, which were all losses. Last season was a complete travesty as Colorado finished the season 1-11 under Durrell. They were outscored by 29 points per game, which was the worst in the nation. Their offense only averaged 15 points per game. They only gained 281 yards per game. The scoring defense was dead last, giving up 44.5 points a game, and the defense surrendered 509 yards per contest for next to last in the country. Their leading rusher only gained 393 yards and their top passer had a 44 completion percentage. In addition, the defense only had nine sacks on the year and to win, you have to be able to put pressure on the quarterback. Enter Coach Prime. He is confident that he can turn things around in Boulder. I mean, Colorado in the 90s was a dominant program. They won a national championship in 1990 with legendary coach Bill McCartney and they have one Heisman winner and the late great Rashawn Salam. There were stars like Cordell Stewart, Darian Hagan, Eric Bieniemy, and countless others. Since the Buffs joined the Pac-12 in 2012, they have only won one Pac-12 South title, but no conference championships. The talent well has been so dry 
that only nine players in the NFL have played for the Buffaloes. From 2006 until now, there have only been three consensus All-Americans, which were offensive lineman Nate Solder, kicker Mason Crosby, and linebacker Jordan Design. Coach Prime has already begun recruiting top-tier high school talent to the program, and he has heavily turned over the roster. You really can't blame him, but best believe the talent is on the way. I was looking for certain people to do certain things, and the certain people that I was looking for to do certain things, they did those things really, really well. His son, starting quarterback Shadir Sanders, brings experience, promise, and a driven competitor to a star quarterback driven Pac-12. He had a great spring game, accounted for three touchdowns, including an electric 98 yard touchdown pass. Former number one recruit Travis Hunter, who comes to Colorado via Jackson State, impacted the game with a touchdown catch. He is expected to play both ways this season. He is a stout defender with great twitch and long arms and would challenge all the great quarterbacks in the conference by forcing them to throw into tight windows. A talented defense is needed to survive in the Pac-12. The best quarterback talent in the country resides in this conference and the Buffs will face both USC's Heisman Trophy winner, Caleb Williams, and Oregon's Bo Nix. Key defensive transfers are coming in hot from spots like Alabama, Florida State, Washington, Arkansas, Kentucky, and Tennessee. Also coming in the summer is the best high school cornerback in the nation, Kamani McLean, after he decommitted from Miami and pledged to Colorado. However, the NFL Hall of Famer's passion for the game and his natural leadership abilities make him a perfect fit for the job. Sanders expressed excitement about taking on the challenge, stating that he sees it as an opportunity to give back to the sport that has given him so much. He spent three seasons at Jackson State, posting a 27-6 record as a head coach and winning a pair of SWAT championships. He has proven he knows how to win. Consider the value Sanders brings to a floundering Pac-12 as it openly tries negotiating the media rights deal. He will become must-see TV like head coaches Kirby Smart, Nick Saban, and Lincoln Riley. One challenge for Dion is to get the nation to take Colorado as seriously as they take national brands like Alabama, Georgia, Ohio State, Michigan, and USC. Season process. So, yes. what does it look like now that spring ball is over? What's the next process? Well, this is the genesis of the of the the new era, the new thing. This was the genesis. This was the beginning of 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 everything. Uh, to the direction that we go right now, you all know that uh, we're gonna move on from from some some of the team members and we're going to reload and and get some kids that we really identify with. The Colorado fan base is starved for a winner. During the spring game, over 47,000 fans showed up in 30 degree weather on a snow filled afternoon to root on the buffs. Last week's game drew 551,000 viewers on ESPN the largest TV audience for a spring game since 2016. With one of the most demanding schedules in the country, the Buffaloes and Coach Prime are headed for either the most significant turnaround in school history or the biggest failure in college football. Is Dion ruining college football as some suggest? No. He is adapted to using NIL and the transfer portal. 2023 may not be as successful as some may want, but you can guarantee the Colorado Buffaloes will contend for championships in either the Pac-12 or whatever conference they realign to in the next few years.
In the words of Dion, we coming and I ain't hard to find. I hope you enjoyed this episode.